Hey, this is Coach Nick. I'm actually behind the camera today. I'll give you a little wave right there. Uh, today, in about 30 seconds or less, I'm going to reveal the truth about running. Right now, there's a big argument. I can't say right now. It's been for a long time. Whether as to whether running or sprinting speed is either do more to creating vertical force or do more to creating horizontal force. Now, if you understand the concept of resolution of forces, what we know is that if I have an object here and this object has an equal force being put on it this direction and, and a, an equal force being put on it in that direction then the object is going to travel in this direction so that's resolution of forces so it, this vertical force and this horizontal force resolved into a diagonal force so to answer who's correct in the argument between running, I will tell you they're both correct. Technically, when you're running, you're resisting the force of gravity, so you have to create vertical force in order to keep your body from buckling and going towards the ground and keep you off the ground. Otherwise, you create more friction and you slow down. And you have to drive yourself forward and deal with momentum and whatnot. Now, we can't necessarily, I can't say that the vertical force is always equal to the horizontal force or vice versa. If the horizontal force is greater, you're going to get a vector more along the lines of that. If the vertical force is greater, you're going to get a little more of a, I think that's a little too extreme there actually, you'll probably get a vector more along those lines. But to be honest with you, you need to train both. Otherwise, you do not move forward. If force was completely vertical, you would just be jumping straight up and down. You wouldn't go fast. And if complete was, the force was completely horizontal while you were running, your body would just keep getting lower and lower, and you would buckle. So we just solved. We just used a physics principle called resolution of forces. It's probably in every physics textbook you ever had in high school or college to solve a long-running debate. So who's right, vertical or horizontal people? They're both right. It's actually dead in the middle. So what does this all this mean as far as training goes? Well, we need to get our athletes or ourselves good at producing vertical force or, or first force vertically, and we need to also train and get strong and be able to uh, produce force in a horizontal vector as well. So a more comprehensive training program, the more comprehensive training program you have, the better athlete you'll become. And in this case, the faster you'll run.